So tremor in general is a very common symptom. Again, it means shaking of a body part. And there are lots of conditions or syndromes that cause tremor. Essential tremor is different to other tremor syndromes in that it's an action tremor. An action tremor is a tremor that comes on when you move that body part or you're activating the muscles in that body part, as opposed to a rest tremor where I might be resting my hand on my lap and the tremor starts there, for example, in Parkinson's disease. So essential tremor is an action tremor predominantly, and it's fairly symmetrical, so it tends to affect both hands or arms and symmetrically so, and sometimes other body parts. So for a diagnosis of essential tremor, we're looking for symmetry, we're looking for both arms or hands to be involved, possibly other body parts, we're looking for the absence of uh, involvement of other neurological systems and this can come from clues from the patient's story or examining them uh, or sometimes other investigations, for example scans of the head or blood tests.